My hello and welcome to another episode of First Chances with Chance on... Really? Why hello and welcome to another episode of First Chances with Chance. And for today's episode, we're going to be talking about the art of makeup. So it is definitely a art form, especially when you when you see that uh, all these people doing these very intricate, almost, uh, I want to say, Vincent Van Gogh type looks, and also, what is his name? I'm trying to think. The Bob Ross paintings. Um, so, yeah. Those are very, definitely very intricate. I definitely want to get back into doing more of those. Um, I know it is definitely, um, I kind of have a idea of what I want to do for the next one. I want to do a very, like, starry night, not starry night by, um, by what's his face, um, but like, just like stars and all of that, blocking out the brows, clean shaved face, obviously, because, you know, I don't do my makeup if my face isn't shaved. So, I also have to do a lot of the skincare and all of that. So, it's definitely going to be a fun look. And I definitely have been wanting to get back into doing more of those types of things. So, let's go ahead and... Like, makeup is definitely a form of art. Like, it's an art form. And you definitely can have fun with it. Like, do the intricate eye looks. Definitely do the intricate, like, lips and all of that. Like, I've seen Jeffree Star Cosmetics post a lot of, like, their lip looks. And, yes, I have. Obviously, you can tell from my nose. I have been out in the sun quite a bit recently. So, yeah. We're going to have to cover this up with uh, next week when we launch our new product well yeah when i say we i mean like me and my brand but also you guys because you guys are part of this community as well um definitely excited definitely busy schedule so i will be vlogging that whole entire thing not like the whole entire day because i do work and i'm not allowed to bring my phone to the pool so yeah I can definitely vlog, uh, bring my little ring light with me, not ring light, but little phone light for in the morning because I have to be, do I have to be to work? Yeah, I have to be to work at five, uh, be up at five, get ready, then be to the bus stop and I ha and it's dark out. So yeah, we get to work at eight and eight to 12, then I get home at around 2.15 hopefully and then I have to clean my hair get all of that done and then we have our anime night also that night uh, around then I also have a meeting with my academic advisor on Thursday next week and it's definitely going to be about school so I have been obviously I don't know if you guys have been watching my lives on YouTube at all or like checking out the videos I've been getting into more painting so that's where the, like makeup art of makeup has come in um, the one that I've been painting is just like a rough draft like a draft of what I want to do for my like when I get a big um, canvas for, because I want to hang it up uh, against my wall in my queer corner because you know we're queer and we're happy and proud to be so yeah definitely been wanting to do a lot of art like especially because like when I first started my channel I was doing in my Instagram I was doing little art pieces here and there like I want I did a keyboard when it was um one of the anniversaries for BIM 
I think. Damn it, no. Archive. Post. No. I am connected to the internet. What do you mean? But yeah, it was IBM. I did a keyboard because it was one of the anniversaries for IBM. And then I also did a, um, like a starry night, not starry night, but like, uh, setting, like the sun setting with the moon in the background, not the sunset, but it was like the clouds and then the moon and all of that. I definitely want to have gotten better with the blending than how I was when I first started out so it's definitely gonna be a cool experience I want to do a video I know it's gonna be a lot of editing because using all of the paint and all of that uh, I definitely have to have a steady hand I have to buy some more uh, not face paint but more of the pigmented I have to find some like I, like with eyeshadow bases or stuff like that that are really pigmented and go from there because it will definitely be a lot of blending it's cream products liquid products all of that and then setting it with powder and yeah it's definitely a lot of work but it is worth it in the end I know I have a couple products that I have to review so it will be fun I'm not gonna use the product the new products with that look per se and I also want to do it like a, a drag transformation video as well so definitely a lot to come with my YouTube channel and my TikTok and content in general because I like again I have that brand coming as well so yeah, let's see if I can pull up an article. Um, well, pull up an article because Wi Fi is very mixed right now. Self expression through the art of makeup. But yeah, I've definitely been having a lot of fun with makeup, getting back into it. Like, well, not getting back into it, but definitely having like fun, changing things up. And I know that if I do these looks, it will pop. It'll definitely be a change in the beauty community because everybody lately has been, just been, I've seen, has just been doing very um, generic, everyday looks. Uh, I know that Laura Lee's been going shopping and everything and cleaning out. I definitely have to do another clean out video sometime before my birthday because, you know, we do go and splurge on my birthday, which unfortunately somebody won't be able to work with me because he might be out of state and his games. So, yeah definitely gonna suck with that one I maybe even want to do a like I, I love the like nature so I might do like a nature look but yeah it's definitely been fun to do all of that as well so I am definitely very excited. I just bought a new mascara today from Target. It, I love the color that it has on it. I know I have like three, two other mascaras that I have to review, but this one is that has been calling my name ever since we put it on the shelf before I left. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break and be right back with this article. 
now that we're back I'm gonna go ahead and read this article self-expression through the art of makeup many times people so the author it I don't even know who the author is I guess Marie Louis Coaster uh, posted on 14th May 2020 so she wrote Many times people like me are judged for wearing makeup because others think it is done to cover imperfections, but it is, it is so much more than that. People such as myself wear makeup as a form of expression. It is also something I do to connect with myself a time out of the day for me time. A moment a lot of us neglect because we are so busy with our lives. We all have developed a habit of being on the go the moment you wake up you mentally prepare yourself for what the day has to bring often we don't care about setting aside time for ourselves just for the simple reason that we think it's just not that important we're able to function this way but almost like robots not connected to ourselves some people use ways to feel connected by meditating or working out at the gym spending which i have been doing a lot more of meditation recently so that is fun spending time doing makeup on myself every morning is a similar feeling of satisfaction for me it is therapeutic and a de-stressor makeup is a form of art like an artist's painting our face is our canvas makeup expresses everything about a person's personality even their mood makeup could even could mean a lot of different things to people such as a way to, way to relax be creative or simply just because they love doing it makeup can also be a hobby some people play sports other sports every day because they enjoy it i like makeup and that's why i do it as much as i do i wear makeup to express on the outside how i feel on the inside i am able to develop confidence without having to speak out about it I always loved being creative. As a child, I started drawing and painting before I found I could also be an artist through applying makeup. I love the process of putting it on and seeing the outcome of what I envisioned. Makeup makes me f feel put together and boost my confidence when I need it. Sometimes I spend a couple of hours on my application and then I end up wiping it all off when I am not satisfied with it. The best part of it is that you get better and better the more you practice and that makes it even better more fun the next time you try again even though it could get frustrating at times when one eyebrow doesn't look the same as the other no matter how hard you try but that's okay brows are sisters not twins there has always been a discussion between people who wear makeup and people who don't wear it as to the reason why people choose to put on makeup on a daily basis most people who don't wear makeup have the idea that people who do wear it most must feel insecure about the way they look or that they don't like themselves even though some people start wearing makeup for this exact reason there's nothing wrong with it if it means someone makes someone happy and comfortable to put on a full face of makeup every day then they should be able to do it without being criticized for it i started wearing makeup in elementary school it all started with eyeliner then came high school and I fell in love with makeup even more. At this point, I was wearing foundation, which wasn't the right shade. Concealer, blush, which was too much. There's never too much blush. Ma'am, never too much blush. Mascara, everything. I was just learning and I looked like I was wearing a mask around the school, but that's not the point. After some time in high school, like a lot of girls, I felt insecure and makeup helped me through that phase and I am not afraid to admit that it made me feel better about myself because it's true I believe that if what you wear or put on your face makes you look good on the outside then you'll feel good on the inside there is also a misconception about this and as to why this is the wrong way to think I mean let's be honest here dressing up putting on makeup and doing your hair makes you feel good and that portrays on the outside if you feel great doing that then you'll want to do it again. Yes, I already know what you're thinking. This method will never help you love and accept your true self and only make you feel even more insecure about yourself and the longer you do it. Well, I beg to differ. Everyone is different and we all go through different experiences that help us grow into loving ourselves. Aside from creating full glam looks on my Instagram, 
on a daily basis, I don't wear a full face of makeup. Since I have started wearing makeup, I have worn less over the years. I have grown to love certain features of myself that I used to cover up and now I use makeup to embrace them. What I'm saying is I shouldn't, it shouldn't matter why people wear a full face of makeup. The real question is why do people care it doesn't define us makeup lovers. And it doesn't mean we don't like who we are. I wear makeup to improve and enhance things about my face. I'm not ashamed to admit this and neither should you. You are who you are and if you want to wear makeup because it makes you feel amazing, then you shouldn't stop for anyone saying you're doing too much because if you are not doing the most, then what are you doing? Makeup has no rules. Makeup is talent and a reflection of you. So anyone's negative input on the time you spent being yourself is irrelevant. It is 20, well, when they wrote this, it was 2018. So right now it's 2023. It is 2018 and people need to come to terms with the fact that just because it is not the norm for yourself, that does not mean it is wrong. It's time to stop making people feel sorry for or for putting on makeup and just let them do what they want and be who they want to be. Unfortunately, in today's society, people are constantly ash constantly ashamed for what they should and shouldn't look like. This ties into the argument that makeup is linked to low self-esteem. In my opinion, having self-esteem is much broader than how I look on the outside. Don't get me wrong, wearing makeup does give me a boost of confidence, but self-esteem comes from within. A feeling of acceptance with myself as I am with or without makeup. Despite all these perceptions, the idea of doing makeup as an art form and self-expression instead of a seek of approval and a reason to hide is now being understood. Now more so than ever, makeup lovers from all over the world come together to connect and share their love for makeup. I think this is amazing because we all support each other, especially when everyone else is judging us. As a creator, I choose to protect myself through my appearance, and if you are like me, I encourage you to do it unapologetically. I will continue to express myself through makeup for years so much, oh, for years to come because I love it. I love it so much because it gives me the power, the power to be who I want to be. Makeup is art, which is so very true. So very true. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do the outro. Love the article, by the way. And yeah, if you guys want to leave your guys' stories about how art is, how makeup is art, or art as makeup, or makeup as art, I don't remember what I, what it was. Um, text or leave a voicemail to 561 320 7085. Again, text or leave a voicemail to 561 320 7085. DM first chances with chance on Instagram. Or if you guys are watching the video portion of this, just comment down below. Bye, guys. Love you.